right n is equals to what to say right small n into dx now next one from the diagram or mu naught by 2 pi mu naught by 2 i 2 i r square then r square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 now what is x what is x from this triangle from this triangle right what to say this is what to say a perpendicular now this is x now this is also what to say x right here now we can define tan what to say tan phi tan phi is equals to tan phi is equals to opposite side by adjacent side what is the opposite side this is the opposite side therefore x x by adjacent side that is r that is r from this one x is equals to what to say x is equals to r tan phi r tan phi here now here in this case calculate b is equals to b is equals to that equals to mu naught mu naught i i into n n is equals to total number of turns in the circular coil total number of turns in the circular coil that is n into dx n into dx by r square by right 2 into 2 into now r square it is constant r square now x square what is x r tan pi now here in this case x square x square is equals to r square tan square phi that is whole to the power of 3 by 2 now in this equation mu not i n into dx r square by 2 into r square plus r square plus tan r square into tan square phi whole to the power of 3 by 2 here there is a term dx now on differentiating this one therefore dx is equals to r into right what to say tan phi here in this case tan phi differentiation is secant square phi next d phi now here in this case b is equals to that is mu not i n right r square r square dx is equals to that is r secant square phi into d phi by now here in this case 2 into 2 into right here r square r square is getting common into 1 plus 1 plus tan square phi right whole to the power of 3 by 2 whole to the power of 3 by 2 now b is equals to b is equals to mu not mu not i n r square n r square that is r square into r that is called what to say r cube now right dx is equals to what to say r secant square phi d phi already r square is there dx is equals to r secant square phi d phi therefore r square into r that is r cube secant square phi into d phi by what to say here r that is 2 into r square whole to the power of 3 by 2 that is let us consider r square is itself now 1 plus tan square phi 1 plus tan square phi is nothing but that is secant square phi into whole to the power of 3 by 2 now here that is b is equals to b is equals to that is mu not i n into r cube into secant square phi into d phi by now 2 into that is 2 into right r square whole to the power of 3 by 2 that is r square whole to the power of 3 by 2 into secant square secant square phi whole to the power of 3 by 2 therefore this two this two gets cancel now this two this two gets cancel therefore mu not i n r cube secant square phi into d phi by that is 2 into r square Two to get cancel means r cube. That is r cube into secant square phi. Two to get cancel means that is secant. 
that is secant q phi into what to say next therefore here r cube here is also r cube now r cube r cube gets cancelled now that is secant square phi secant cube phi therefore what is the remaining term mu not i n right that is d phi by that is 2 into that is secant phi secant phi therefore b is equals to b is equals to that is mu not i n by 2 by 2 1 by secant phi is equals to cos phi into d phi now here this is a a small portion of the solenoid it behaves as a it behaves as a circular coil with respect to the current carrying circular coil from the center at a distance of x at the point p what is the magnetic field induction the magnetic field induction is represented by db the magnetic field induction is represented by db here is also db here is also db here is also db now what is the magnetic field induction with respect to the circular coil db is equals to right mu naught i n by 2 into that is cos phi into d phi this is correct answer but here that is this is the solenoid this is the portion of the solenoid this portion of the solenoid behaves as a current carrying circular coil with respect to the small current carrying circular coil what is the magnetic field induction db now i want to get the magnetic field induction due to with respect to the solenoid in order to get magnetic field induction due to a whole solenoid such a components are superpositioned right with respect to a single solenoid db is equals to like this with respect to all that is with respect to all small circular coils this db values are superimposed therefore with respect to the whole solenoid to get for a whole solenoid for a whole solenoid for a whole solenoid right the magnetic field induction can be had by integrating that is db is equals to mu naught i n by 2 cos phi into d phi therefore on integrating you are going to get the magnetic field induction with respect to the whole and whole solenoid now here that is phi value integration we are going to get what are the limits what are the limits means that phi value phi value right here is from this end solenoid means from this end to this end now let us consider the point p this end this end is now next end this is the next end now phi value must be changes alpha to the beta right here this is the positive side now this is called negative side therefore the phi value changes from minus alpha to plus beta what are the limits alpha to the beta now phi value is up to this ring what is the angle phi the ring may be extended from one end to the other end as the ring is extended like this now phi value is changed from alpha to alpha as the right the ring is extended to the, like this therefore this is called what you say beta therefore in order to get the magnetic field induction to with respect to the whole solenoid this in this magnetic field induction can be integrated within the limits from alpha to beta here i am taking right this point up to the beta therefore this is called positive side now this is called negative side that's why i am taking minus alpha to beta therefore integration of db is equals to b that is mu naught i n by 2 integration of cos alpha integration of sin integration of cos alpha is equals to sin that is phi now limits are what to say minus alpha to beta now that equals to that is mu naught i n by 2 
right substitute the upper limit instead of phi that is sin beta minus of right instead of minus of minus of this is the minus minus of that is sin instead of phi substitute minus alpha this is minus alpha now here in this case that is mu naught i n by 2 into that is sin beta sin beta that is here sin minus alpha is equals to minus sin alpha therefore this is equals to minus sin alpha therefore here b is equals to here b is equals to b is equals to that is mu naught i n by 2 into that is sin beta right plus minus into minus plus that is what to say sin alpha therefore b is equals to mu naught i n by 2 that is sin alpha plus sin beta therefore this is magnetic field induction this is the magnetic field induction b is equals to mu naught i n by 2 into sin alpha plus sin beta but for infinite solenoid for infinite solenoid right infinite solenoid right infinite solenoid for infinite solenoid as the length is increased like this as the length is increased like this alpha value becomes to 90 now beta value as the length is increased the beta value right also becomes 90 therefore now for a infinite solenoid alpha is equals to beta is equals to 90 degrees therefore b is equals to mu naught i n by 2 that is sin 90 plus that is sin 90 alpha is equals to 90 beta is equals to 90 therefore mu naught i n by 2 sin 90 is equals to 1 plus 1 therefore mu naught i n by 2 that is 1 plus 1 2 therefore 2 2 gets cancelled b is equals to mu naught i n therefore for an infinite solenoid for an infinite solenoid the magnetic field induction inside the solenoid b is equals to mu naught i what is mu naught mu naught is the permeability of the air or vacuum now i is the current passing through that one n is the number of turns per unit length number of turns per unit length b is equals to mu naught i n 